Well, uh, good evening and uh, once again a warm welcome back uh, to all of our viewers uh, joining us on the uh, Papale.com. We are coming to you uh, live uh, for the uh, second uh, test match. Sri Lanka men taking on England men from the Australia Indo Cricket uh, Nets. And uh, Sri Lanka of course winning the uh, first test. It was a good game but uh, Sri Lanka prevailed at the end and uh, England will be looking uh, for a comeback here. And the news once again is uh, Sri Lanka have won the toss and elected uh, to uh, bat uh, first uh, Welcome back, uh, Lyndon. Thanks, Ricky. Good to have you in the commentary box. It was an exciting first game. Uh, uh, we expected a much more closer game, and I'm sure England uh, would have put a few things right uh, coming into this uh, the second test. There's a lot more chatter, a lot more cheer, as uh, Stuckers runs in and bows the first delivery outside, some outside, cog off an outside edge. Uh, the field in that area, a little bit slow getting down to that one. Uh, but I'm sure there was a little bit of outside edge coming off the back net. But nevertheless, no damage done. The score remains uh, with Sri Lanka still to get off the mark. The opening pair of Kohli Tapu Arachi and skipper Kurupo. Good delivery. Stuckers uh, again bowling those swinging Yorkers. We did very well in the first game. And again continuing from where he left off. Yes, uh, Sri Lanka made 90 uh, when they batted uh, in the first test. Uh, batting uh, first. So they'll be uh, looking for a similar score in this uh, game as well. Oh, that's a beauty. He's clean ball him. A little bit of a swing there away from the left hander played all around it and his uh, stumps have a knock back. So that's Sam Stokes at his best uh, bowling that one uh, uh, into the left hander and uh, Kolita could not get any bat on that one. So uh, my apologies uh, to Sam Stokes. I was pronouncing his name uh, uh, slightly wrong, right? But uh, thanks to Ben uh, Lapworth who is in the commentary box and who will be a part of the commentary from the second uh, skin uh, corrected me. So thanks, uh, uh, thanks Ben. And yes, the next uh, one. Excellent start, isn't it, uh, by uh, England at the moment? Uh, a fine first over so far. So, Ricky, you can see there is uh, a little more uh, sting in the England uh, outfit. Uh, uh, much for the more, test. Yeah. yes, much more energy, uh, uh, Lyndon, in this game uh, uh, so far. I think uh, they have discussed it in that break. Uh, spoken about some finer points, uh, especially their bowling, and uh, looks as uh, their comeback uh, really strong so far in this first over. So England making a couple of changes. We'll update you on that uh, after this uh, delivery from Stokes. A fuller delivery paid uh, into the net on the offside. The batsman crossover for a run. So Sri Lanka recovering after that early uh, setback in the very first over, and uh, our now zero after the first over. Yes, that's a very good over indeed. Uh, a fine first over in comparison uh, to the first game. That was a good start uh, uh, by England. Uh, so far, Sri Lanka two changes as well. Malshan Rodrigo coming in uh, for Ruan. And uh, Andy Solomon's uh, coming in uh, for the experience. Uh, Krishanth Piris uh, in this game is uh, taking, uh, taking a break. So we are just about to see the start of the second over in this first skin. And uh, it will be Brotherhood. Uh, so Brotherhood coming in into this game. I will update you on the changes made. Brotherhood now ball into Kurupu. On the leg side, down the leg side, a wide uh, signal by the umpire. So Sri Lanka moving on to two. England coming out with more purpose in this uh, second test, uh, trying to uh, make a statement. Not happy with their performance in the first test. Uh, Brotherhood bowl the next ball, a good delivery, and uh, Gun very active on that uh, leg side, hitting, tapping the ball before it reached the net. But the batsman had already decided that they were not running. Sri Lanka two in the second over of this first game as Brotherhood runs in and bowls to skipper Kurupu down the leg side, play around onto the net on the leg side and uh, Gunn unable to get to that uh, ball and the ball uh, goes away from him as the batsman scamper through for uh, another run and the two runs with the run score of the net. So four more, four to the total as Hapuarachi uh, faces the next one. That's a good, uh, good stroke. And that's the the rug shot, the slap shot, uh, whatever you want to call it, played uh, expertly there by Kohli Kapuarachi. 
giving the fielders no chance uh, to affect any kind of dismissal as uh, Radhur bowls the next delivery on the legs of uh, Kurupu. Uh, the ball running down uh, towards the side net in the corner. And in the meantime, uh, Kolita calls around and runs another single. So one more, the total onto seven. So this is a good over for Sri Lanka, recovering from that excellent uh, over from by Sam uh, Stokes in the first one. This is a big shot and running down to the back net. Kolita charging his arms on that one. So that's uh, three plus one, four. And that brings the uh, end to the second over. And Sri Lanka has taken their total to 11 for no loss. Excellent second over, isn't it, Lynn? And good comeback, 11 of the second over. Uh, they were zero after the first over. Uh, so uh, that uh, uh, over belongs uh, to uh, Sri Lanka. Three changes uh, to the England lineup. Uh, Lyndon Thomas Rowe is out. Brotherhood, the ball, the second over is in for him. Blake uh, van der Linde uh, re is uh, replaced by uh, Nathan Howell. And uh, Rashid, he's uh, been replaced by Mohammad Atta. So three changes in the England lineup, two changes to the uh, Sri Lankan lineup. So it will be Imtiaz to bowl the third over of this first skin. Imtiaz, uh, who impressed me with his batting in that first game, right? One of the batsmen that stood out for England now with the ball. Bowls to call it uh, outside the uh, off stump. And the batsman was tampering, but that was some good work by uh, the man who has come in, Atta, I believe. Right, slapping the ball off the net, uh, very nearly affecting a run out, even though Kurupu was uh, diving for the crease. Uh, so, England now uh, imposing the leg side uh, tactic, uh, the extra field on the leg side, as Imtiaz runs away and bowls. Yes, but that's too wide down the leg side and signaled a wide. So two more additional runs uh, to the Sri Lankan total. Yes, he was uh, targeting that foolish delivery on leg stump. I feel just uh, slipping down the leg side. Uh, three three fielders there on the uh, leg side net. Yeah, he's empty as better delivery. Oh. And uh, that's but oh. now running around. Uh, that's a bit of a sloppy oh. of, uh, bit of fielding by the uh, Patel. Englishman on that occasion, uh, Ricky. Yes, I think it was uh, Patel underarm flick. But uh, it was not uh, well directed and uh, given away extra run. Kamal was very, very uh, alert to that one. Again, a good uh, stroke uh, by uh, Kolita. Ball coming very quickly off the net. That, that gave very the opportunity for the fielders. Uh, 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 very close, Lyndon, that was. That was very close. Uh, uh, Kurupu was struggling. A direct hit would have had him. And uh, so England uh, improving in that area as well. More alert on the field, getting the ball uh, towards the keeper. It has balls. Oh, That's a good, a good shot uh, by Kurupo. Easy two runs. So one more ball left and uh, Sri Lanka have taken their total to 20. So this is a good recovery after that first over. Yes, Both sir. batsmen have put their heads down and uh, looked at the side nets. Again, another good uh, stroke uh, by uh, Kolita. Brings her in to the third over and after three overs uh, with Kolito on seven and Kamal Kurupu on 15, it's uh, 22. Yes, uh, 22 after three overs, 11 of that over as well, 11 of the second, so two good overs uh, uh, for uh, Sri Lanka. Remember, in the first skin, when they batted in the first test, they got a 19 of the first skin, so already they are on uh, 22 uh, in this game after three overs. Interesting uh, fourth over coming up. Yeah, so it's going to be events. To bowl the fourth over. So uh, Kurupu and uh, Kolita improving uh, from their first outing where they got 19. So they got six balls to uh, build on the 22. They have already scored. But they'll be mindful that they don't want to make big. You can see the dismissal in this one. Down the leg side. Uh. Well, yes, down the leg side, but uh, no damage done. Within the wide uh, line, uh, so not called a wide. A good area to bowl as yes, they won both again. And that's a better shot uh, from Kolita. He's uh, been uh, an improved uh, player in this one, batting with much more confidence, much more assurance, uh, getting the ball up into the top of the side nets. Uh, and. Uh, with minimum risk, uh, has uh, built up a good uh, total so far for Sri Lanka. 
Yes, after that uh, first dismissal in the very first uh, over second delivery, they have come back really strongly, uh, Linden. Excellent running. Well, the Kurupu uh, is on. It's one ah. good delivery. Very good delivery from that occasion by Evans. Beats uh, Kurupu outside the off stump. Uh, the wicket keeper not uh, collecting clean, but uh, batsman not running. Kolita was looking for a uh, run, but sent back by Kurupu. Evans runs in around the wicket and bowls. And he is out. That's the bank card, uh, uh, Ricky. Aparachi uh, starting off before the ball was delivered, and uh, a great bit of uh, deception on the on the part of Evans. Uh, clearly, it uh, showed that he was uh, delivering that ball, but held on to it and had the bails off in a flash with uh, Kolita uh, out of his grounds. Yes, uh, good anticipation by Evans uh, that time. Good reaction. Uh, that's a good hit. That's a good shot. Oh. So Kurupo. Charging oh. his arms. He's uh, succeeded. Three plus one to the back net. Four runs on that occasion. Those are valuable runs indeed. The uh, yes, after that Mankan, they come back uh, strongly. They've got five uh, or six runs uh, in this last couple of uh, deliveries. So they have uh, managed... Uh, to erase uh, that uh, five runs they lost. That's, that's the name of the game, Ricky. How quickly you can recover after a dismissal, and they have done it well. Yes, yeah, Evans again. Good uh, de delivery, played very well uh, by uh, Kamal. So ends uh, extremely well. So Sri Lanka ending uh, on uh, 27 with uh, Kamal Kurupu making 21, Kolita uh, making six. In fact, 26 20. Uh, for the skin. And uh, at Except the end of four overs, we had the two uh, batsmen walking off and the two new batsmen uh, is uh, Malshan Rodrigo and uh, Irosha and De Silva. And uh, Ricky would uh, yes, make I move way, away, give for away for Ben, ben Lapworth. One of the players uh, with the England team. And he will join us uh, on uh, commentary. Uh, welcome uh, into the commentary box, uh, Ben. Hope you're, you're enjoying your stay in Sri Lanka and also the cricket. Absolutely loving it, yes, thank you. Uh, hello to everyone back home and, and in Sri Lanka, of course. Uh, a really good start from the Sri Lankan team there. I think they'll be really happy with that. Uh, so good over from Lee Evans to finish there. Not long back from Turkey. Uh, obviously loves a holiday. Uh, this is Anish Patel to bowl the next over. He's uh, the England men's captain, recently married. So congratulations to Anish and Paige. Yeah, we've, uh, he's having... Uh, well, he's having the best of everything, cricket and honeymoons and everything. And here's the first delivery from uh, Patel, uh, played onto the uh, side net. So, so two, two runs, the score on the 28. Sean Rodrigo on strike to Patel. Played quietly on the offside, committing uh, just a little too much on the front foot. Not able to get any power to get the ball up to the net. So Patel. That's one, he does that and gets the ball to the top of the net and runs quickly. So, so Ben, uh, the, the first test, uh, the test was a bit of a little bit of a setback, especially uh, given that uh, uh, there was a lot of adjustments being done with the fielding, a lot of maybe missed chances. What do you think uh, you would, uh, would like to see uh, improved in this, uh, in this uh, second test? Didn't actually manage to catch too much of the first test as uh, I was over on the other court playing for the England Lions at the time. Uh, from what I saw, I think it's just getting used to the courts. A little bit of adjustment. Um, in terms of playing out here compared to back home, there's a, a lot more heat. The humidity, um, I think the sweat's really taking its toll on quite a few of us. Uh, I know over with the Lions, um, we're having a few issues gripping the ball. Um, but making those adjustments and getting used to it. In fact, Duncan, Duncan and I were on commentary for the first test. We're having a long discussion on a couple of those things that you mentioned about as we see the end of the first over. Adi Patel going for nine runs in that first over. Sri Lanka reaching 35. Uh, quite a healthy uh, start uh, uh, after the five, uh, fifth over. But uh, one of the problems was the fact that there was, uh, with the humidity, there was a lot of sweating and, uh, and the ball, uh, you know, the, the burly ball has a little bit of extra lacquer when it's new and tends to kind of come out of the ball and the bowlers were kind of having problems uh, controlling it. But also the other, th the other thing that, that I noticed that uh, apart from your 
fielding and the bowling that your best man struggled, struggled with the variation of the Sri Lankans. Right? Uh, how, how are you going to counter that? I, th I think um, obviously getting used to it will get used to the bowlers as, as the series goes on. Um, there are a lot of variations. The very skillful bowlers. Um, both teams, in fact, all three teams have displayed a really high level of skill. Um, obviously, the more we get used to it, the, the more we'll be able to play it. Um, and there, there are a lot of skillful players on both sides. And I back the England boys to uh, to make the changes and adapt pretty quickly. So, how about another man who came into the side uh, bowling the sixth over of the inning, the second over of the second skin, and uh, Sri Lanka racing up to 39. Already 30 runs, 13 runs in the second skin. We are only in the second over. This one played. And that is some brilliant fielding. That is Atta and that leg side uh, uh, flicking the ball back to the wicket keeper. All he had to do was to take the uh, bails off. And he did that exactly with the Roshan short of his ground. And I thought this is an improved fielding display from the first test, uh, Ben. Mohamed Atta is a very, very good fielder, uh, especially in that front court. He's very quick. I believe he got seven run outs in one of the warm up games yesterday. He's that quick. Um, and he's shown there excellent work. It's actually, his full international debut. So he played for the under-22 boys at the World Cup. Uh, himself and Kabir have made the step up into the full men's team and uh, they both look pretty much at home, They're doing really wow. well. I'm very impressed with the guy, seeing what he has done on that uh, leg side. This is some good batting by Malshan. So Malshan, uh, a young cricketer coming off, uh, out of school uh, and uh, he adapted very well to this indoor game, especially with the batting. I'm impressed in the way he's been hitting the ball because uh, a lot of the players that come from the outdoor struggle with playing the dunk shot or what we call the slap shot which is down onto the carpet and onto the top of the net right uh, and that's one of the areas that uh, sri lanka has struggled uh, at international level been but uh, to see a young player coming and adapting so well and so early is uh, you know refreshing so it's probably the main difference really between this men's team and our development team um, they have got a little bit more experience and, and those dunk shots as we like to call them um, is probably where they're a little bit stronger so playing the proper indoor cricket shots as it were we have got a few people that play more drives and such Luke Gunn comes on to bowl one of the more experienced campaigners in this team he's played quite a few times for England now very good batsman very athletic fielder He's a hard-hitting batsman, I've heard. Can uh, looks looks a little bit uh, to the back net as well. One of those players that can play the the seven shot uh, bin. But a yeah. uh, bit a uh, bit of a disappointment, I believe, here uh, in the uh, in the third uh, skin in the last uh, uh, test match that he played. Yeah, he's usually very at home batting with Thomas Rowe. Uh, those two played together in in the national league as well. Uh, usually one of the strongest skins that England has. Um, didn't get to see too much of it again, but I saw, saw their scorecard and I think they'll both be a bit disappointed with that and looking to improve in future games. So Sri Lanka now 44. They are in the seventh over of the inning, the third over of the second skin. Sri Lanka have already scored 18 runs in the second skin after the first opening pair of Kurupu and Hapuarachi is put on 26. This one is driven, uh, is running, uh, but uh, Patel on the third line, uh, unable to get the flick uh, to the back stumper. And that gave the chance for Rodrigo to make his ground safely and uh, to add two more runs to the total. That has gone up to 46 gun balls. But uh, Hiroshan unable to uh, get that away. And the end of the over, the end of the seventh over, eight runs conceded by Luke Gunn in that uh, over. And it's uh, Hiroshan on three. And uh, Malshan, who has been batting superbly on 17, and the skin now 20 runs. Ben? Yeah, I think they'll be very happy with it. I think England will hope for a couple of wickets in this over, try and pin them back a little bit. Uh, the score's going really well for Sri Lanka. They'll be very pleased. Uh, Mohamed Attar comes on to bowl, normally a very reliable bowler, good control. Hopefully can bring his field into action, and uh, they're pretty sharp in that front court today. So, Ben, you're, you're coming after playing a, a development uh, game earlier on uh, and yeah, uh, lost a close game I believe yeah huh? unfortunately it was one run in it uh, say it's pretty pretty hard to take really it's one of the uh, more difficult to lose a very close game but uh, we only had one player 
who's played an international game before. Wow. Um, so the seven others of us uh, really stepped up, uh, especially in the field and with the ball. Trying to defend 44s, not ideal. Um, as that ball hits, the, go on to three. Uh, misfield there. No one's sharpen that up a bit. So um, but yeah, to keep the opposition down to 45, um, and we kept it really close. We were still in. If we got a wicket off the last ball, we'd have won the game. So it was that close. Really looking forward to the rest of the series as the team, team seemed to be evenly matched. Another misfield costs an extra two runs. So Mohamed Atta has start bowling. The final over of the skin has already gone for nine runs in three deliveries. This one is hit uh, into the side net. So an excellent uh, skin for the Sri Lankans. Uh, so far, 31 runs uh, already. The total on the 57. Yes, I imagine we'll be seeing Sam Stooks again soon. It's very much the, uh, the wicket-taking option. Probably the pick of the bowlers. Uh, plays, for, plays for my team back home, with Leicester. He's a very sharp left armour. Very well bowled on the last delivery by Arthur. Had uh, Manshan Rodrigo covering up, playing it quietly. Wouldn't want to lose a big uh, dismissal here. This one very well played again to that uh, third line. Uh, Malshan has been a revelation in these innings. Beautifully uh, played by him. 34 runs, uh, in fact, 26 to Malshan. Uh, uh, and uh, this is, I believe, his debut uh, in big time uh, Indo cricket. And, uh, and an excellent skin for Sri Lanka, 34. And with the 26 runs, uh, opening skin have reached 60 after eight overs. And a big thank you to Ben as he leaves uh, the commentary box. We uh, look forward to seeing you again, Ben. Thank you, Lyndon. Really appreciate it. Really enjoyed that. Handing over to Blake van der Linden now, one of the players uh, not selected for this game. He's having a rest. So here he is. Yes, and uh, taking uh, Ben's uh, uh, seat is uh, Blake. Welcome, uh, Blake. Welcome to Sri Lanka. And I'm sure you have enjoyed the cricket already. Yeah, thank you, Lyndon. Uh, great pleasure to be here, having a great time so far on the tour. Uh, just wish our cricket was uh, speaking a little bit better right now, a uh, little bit behind the game. I think maybe the boys are trying to force it a little bit much. Uh, probably missed about eight or nine relatively easy run-out opportunities. Um, hopefully we're going to rectify that in the back end of this game now. So here is the first one played very nicely onto the side net on the leg side by uh, Rumesh Pereira. So it's, uh, it's going to be... Uh, Faris and Pereira to, uh, for Sri Lanka in the third skin. Patel, the captain, bowling the ninth over and the first of this third skin. So I will talk to uh, Blake in a little while as the next one is played quietly on the, on, on the left side. It's Arthur again. They are fielding very nicely, cleanly. So Blake playing the first test, taking a, a bit of a break in the second one. Uh, uh, gives you a, bit of, uh, a different perspective on how you're looking at the game from outside. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I think the thing you find, uh, it's a six, six test match series um, and we're just looking to utilise all our players quite wisely. It's been really, really hot, it's taken a lot of time to acclimatise. Uh, I played both the warm-up games yesterday, it felt like it was about 50 degrees in the arena. Uh, thankfully, we've had a bit of rain today, so it's kept it a little bit cooler. Possibly why the ball didn't swing as much in the first game, but it's definitely, it seems, since the rain's gone, it's uh, humidified and got a little warmer in here. Uh, and Eshbal in good lines here, really targeting the legs of the Sri Lankan players. We really feel that that's where we are uh, and that's where the vulnerability lies. Uh, the biggest problem we've had is I think we've missed our length quite a lot. It's given them the ability to sit back on the ball and maybe dunk it a little bit easier than we would have hoped. There you go, and Esh again on it. Uh, third ball coming up, I think, Lyndon. Yeah. Yes. Um, so it's a third ball situation. Uh, I think the first, uh, the first one uh, in this uh, uh, innings uh, for Sri Lanka. And uh, they'll be looking to, uh, to run as quickly as they can as Patil bowls. So that's uh, very well played by Rumesh. And uh, got away from Arthur. He was looking to slap one down, but it was past him uh, very quickly. It's the end of the over, end of uh, nine overs, Sri Lanka 66. Uh, and uh, that was six runs in that over and in the third skin. Lyndon, I've got to say, last game, we had good, great success against the third pair. I think we kept them down to 11 uh, and probably just lost it a bit when it came into the fourth pair. I think we just got to get back to the basics, get the lines that we're going to challenge and go from there. On my count, I think we've bowled 10 wides or 11 wides already in the game. Discipline's just been quite poor for the first two games. Hopefully, uh, that's going to change. As we've said, Sam 
Sam Stooks into the attack. Definitely uh, the strike by the, the unit. Um, gets it through quite quickly and, and is renowned for late. Back into the right hander. He's got a couple of change ups in there. So he keeps everyone guessing, but with that pace, there's not a lot that you need to, to change. Um, definitely challenge the Sri Lankans in the first game and in the first, the first over of this game. So Sam uh, Stokes balls the next one. It's down the, the leg side, but uh, not uh, outside of the uh, wide line to be called wide. And it's a third ball situation again. So, so it shows that uh, the, uh, the England team have put uh, much more pressure on this uh, batting pair. And uh, this one uh, played up to the top of the net, uh, batsman running across. We talked about this in the first test also, Blake, you know, uh, looking at the Sri Lankan batting and, uh, and, the, and the partnerships that was uh, on display, we, we agreed that the third pair was the kind of the weak link and that the, the England team uh, were looking to take much more, make advantage of that and uh, put some pressure on them. Uh, you were able to do that, but I thought you let it slip a little bit in between because uh, a couple of extra third balls which were not bowled extremely well and uh, I think they let the best one out of the hook, off the hook on that occasion. Yeah, that goes back to what we were talking about with the discipline. I think uh, we've just seen it there again, third ball, we've got a full toss. I think we did that three or four times in the, in the first test. Uh, it's just not good enough. I think the boys are they're working really hard. Uh, they're doing their best. But at the moment, I just feel maybe, maybe a bit of pressure out there. A couple of youngsters, you've got a Tar who's coming out playing his first test match. Um, you've got uh, Kabir, a keeper, who's in his second test match for the men's. Guys, uh, guys out here, we're all fighting for places. We want to prove a point, and uh, it, I it is slightly different here. You know, the lengths are different, what we're aiming at, and uh, the targets have been slightly different. But uh, no excuses for wides. I'm not going to take that away. So, end of a very good over from uh, Sam Stokes. Just considering two runs, uh, picking up a uh, wicket as well, and uh, restricting uh, the Sri Lanka pair in this third skiing already. Uh, just eight runs, and uh, they will look uh, to uh, just keep uh, the, the scheme going without too many dismissals and we were talking uh, a little bit also uh, we, we spoke about the, the with the conditions you know the atmosphere with the heat factor and all that also the court itself uh, Duncan was mentioning that the, the specs of the court a little bit different than what you have back in back home uh, does that make a big difference uh, to the way you all play the game here and uh, did that uh, did it take time for you all to adjust to the, the, the changes uh, Blake? Yeah, it, it definitely, it, it, has, it has impacted us a little bit. Um, no excuses for how we performed in the first test. I think, I think we played well, but we just weren't quite at the races on the first, the first game. And uh, I, I think the thing is, there's a little bit more width on the court. Um, so reading the ball off the net has been a little bit slower. The ball doesn't ping back at you, especially off the middle court. So right hand is leg side line. Uh, because it's a shared uh, net, it's a little bit looser. Um, and also the length of the court. Uh, the, just a solid run up here uh, and possibly I would say another meter to run for the batters so again extra opportunities for run outs for sure but I think we've just found the nets are quite soft in comparison to what we used to but no excuses I mean we can adapt and we'll, we'll, be, we'll be on it it's just again we're looking at that discipline of full tosses coming into the game it's taking the pressure off uh, this pair you know seven that's what we call horns um, <laughs> so that's a six plus one uh, Blake yeah, that's a six plus one. That's not what we like to see as a bowling unit. Uh, much better from Luke there. Uh, but again, you can see we've made an adjustment. Normally, you'd never let the keeper come out of his box. But because of the softness of the net, sometimes it's easier for him to get across and get there and try and get that run out. Um, but again, let's get back on our lens. Come on, England. Come on, boys. So gun bowling played on the, on the left side. Go. And Sri Lanka already improving on their first test performance. Already 81. Uh, they made 90 in that uh, of 16 overs, but after just 11 overs, 81, a 21 run uh, skin already for the third. And uh, so all three batting pairs improving and uh, doesn't look too good uh, from an England, England point of view. But so far, looking, so far. Yeah. Still lots of cricket to be played here. We've still got to have a bat and there's still uh, five overs left here. Uh, 30, 30 balls, quick math there. Um, so... I'm really hoping that Lee Evans steps up here. He's a great bowler. Obviously, you saw him man a little bit earlier. Um, just keeping the Sri Lankan uh, batsmen in check by uh, making sure they don't back up too much and give themselves an advantage on this longer run. Uh, third ball again for England. So let's see if we convert. We've missed uh, two of them. Let's get to our plans. Let's see if we get one away here. Come on, Lee. So Evans 
Bowling played on the leg side. Very well played. Running across. So two more to the total. Goes on to 83. Takes a, their personal skin on to 23. So, Blake, actually, you didn't let me finish at that time. I was going to say, doesn't look too good uh, for England, but knowing their fighting qualities, all right, they'll be looking to fight back uh, uh, and get that, uh, the Sri Lankans quickly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Over eager here. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, we back ourselves. We said anything 95 and below. So, I think the boys have got a bit of work to do with the ball now to keep it under control. Um, definitely on the court, we back ourselves 95 and under. Uh, now that we have a bit more understanding, it, it seems the ball seems to skid on a little bit more out here. Um, so we've learned to press a little bit more on the front foot and get that moving, get it higher up the net. Um, so yeah, definitely, that's a great, great night from Lee there. Uh, Lyndon, I, don't, I hope you don't mind, I'm just going to give a little shout out to my boys back home. So to the tree frogs, to the godfather, the tortoise, Mr. Ongers, uh, I know you're all watching. Uh, we're doing our best boys and we're going to come back nice and strong. Uh, our plan was to be 1-1 today uh, and then take it clean tomorrow and then take it into Sunday 3-1 up and hoping, hoping we'll be there. I think the boys will pick it up now um, and come after the fourth pair. Why not? Anything happens here, guys. So that one played in the air. Uh, away from Havel who was trying to cover the ground on that one. But uh, that's the end of... Uh, the 12th over, the end of the, uh, the third skin, 31 runs, they'll be very happy. Sri, uh, Sri Lanka have reached 91 after 12 and we see the final uh, pairing uh, for Sri Lanka and that's uh, Tarindu Mendes and Andy Solomons, true experienced uh, campaigners, been around for a long time. Uh, but uh, just coming back uh, to the innings so far, where Sri Lanka is concerned, they'll be extremely happy, Blake, given the fact that uh, if, it, if there's one area that uh, they do struggle, their Sri Lanka struggles in the three disciplines of batting, bowling and fielding, it's batting. And whenever Sri Lanka puts runs on the board, they always have the ability of uh, defending it with their, yeah. you know, their bowling and their fielding. So, so England is going to have a great challenge on their hands unless they're able to restrict this last pair because, uh, because another 20-30 runs is going to put a lot of pressure on England to come back and to score the required runs that is going to be put on the board. I mean, you've got to give credit to Sri Lanka, I agree with you, you know, probably find that their, their batting is uh, the weakest of the things there. Uh, their bowling is renowned for a lot of uh, variations, change-ups, which they did so successfully in the first innings. Uh, not to mention their fielding, which has always been outstanding from when I started playing against them in 2007 was my first World Cup with them. Uh, but I heard from the home series here in 2004 how, how aggressive they were in the field. Not aggressive physically, but in the way that they got up really tall and in the face of the batsman and to very successfully. And to talk about the batting, I mean, Sri Lanka have played phenomenally here. They value, they put such a value on their wicket. They've played no silly shots. They've played every ball on merit. And uh, you can see with scores of, tw you know, skins of 26, 34, 31. I think they've only lost two, possibly three wickets. Um, they haven't panicked when they've come onto third ball. They've just played the ball in front of them. Uh, not to got the uh, situation to get too big for them. Uh, moved on. I think you said you had someone on debut there, and he batted beautifully. Yeah. So, young, uh, respect. Young schoolboy, young schoolboy. Uh, I was very impressed. I think he's been the outstanding player so far uh, with the bat for Sri Lanka. That 26 runs uh, and with a couple of the shots that he played, uh, the dunk shots, many dunk shots to the top of the net. I thought he was a revelation and uh, refreshing to watch a young player come and bat in that way. So here is MTS. Bodes well for the future. Really yeah. nice for sure. A couple of the, a couple of those kind of players coming to the system, Blakes. I'll tell you, we'll be competing uh, for top honours at the next World Cup. You did that at home in 2004. You played the Australians in the final. I remember watching that, and uh, it was a great contest. Um, hopefully, you'll be back up there, and we have every intention of being back up there ourselves, which is why we're out here. You know, we want to play a bit more Test cricket. We want to give ourselves a bit more exposure. Get some of the youngsters coming through, as you had Ben at earlier on. Uh, you know, the Lions captain and the juniors coming through had a phenomenal game on the other court. Um, and, and, you know, it's all about the exposure. I think we're always behind the eight ball when it comes to the levels of cricket that are played in Australia and New Zealand and the Trans-Tasman series, which is played every year. Uh, unfortunately, especially from an England perspective, we only tend to have international cricket every World Cup, which previously back in the day was every two years. It's now every three years, which I think even works against us worse. So the, the opportunity to come out to Sri Lanka, beautiful country, great people, super, super friendly, and get six test matches under our belts. And I know you guys have just played in the Asian Cup against India, which was great for you guys. Uh, it only bodes well for, 
for the cricket, dare I say, of the, the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, anyone not down in Australia and New Zealand and uh, hopefully this will continue. You know, we've also got India, as you guys uh, have recently played. You've got the UAE who performed admirably at the World Cup. Uh, that just means, you know, it's a lot more contest coming into World Cup. We've got a few more games under it. Nerves on as bad. Oh, well played there from the Sri Lankans again, as we said. Valuing their wicket, not taking silly, silly risks while they bat. You know, nothing wrong with taking a one behind the wicket there. No risk at all. 14 off eight balls. You know, come on, boys. We've got to start getting our lengths here. Again, we just seem to be missing that length. So, Brotherhood bowling. Yeah. Extremely well to the third line. Super shot there by uh, Mendes. And uh, takes a total on to 108. The skin uh, now reading 17. Sri Lanka putting a batting display here. Uh, it's not that uh, England had bowled badly, it's just been some good batting. England uh, had bowled much better than the, the first uh, test that we saw them. But still, Sri Lanka have uh, raised their performance. And uh, it's showing on the scoreboard right now with the total we're reading 110, with still two balls left in this 14th over. Definitely still a lot of fight left out here, but you've got to give credit Sri Lanka or, or batting England into a really tough position here. Um, yeah, another phenomenal, what weird corpse, pss, 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 pss. nice and easy, down up all day long. Um, again, we're just missing that length, and we're, when we miss the length, we're also giving a lot of width, and, you know, easy to say, but yeah, they are putting it away really, really confidently, so, so credit there. Blake, you mentioned a lot of the challenges that, you know, that Indo cricketers are facing, and I think that's a global problem, because Indo cricket is not played all the time. Most of the players, even for Sri Lanka, come out from the outdoor game, uh, they are not specialized Indo cricketers in any way, but uh, but the fact is that the game is getting popularized. Uh, like you mentioned, teams like the UAE and India have improved uh, tremendously, which is which is fantastic for the game of Indo cricket, right? Uh, and uh, going forward, I, I think that this game is going to go to another level, and uh, it's going to you know create much more opportunities for guys like you and uh, many others who are going to come into the system to get uh, great exposure at international level. Uh, because you mentioned, uh, one thing that you mentioned was the World Cup that we played here, that we played in Australia in the final. In fact, coming into the last game, we were winning that that uh, World you Cup were. final. Australia were under the pump and uh, it was just their experience and our inexperience in that kind of a situation that we lost it in the last over. So, it's, you know, that, that's what it's all about and it's, it's an exciting format uh, that we are playing. So it's great uh, that, you know, there is another kind of format that we can be involved in, especially with the game of cricket that we love so much. Yeah, I mean, uh, unfortunately, we've, got, we've struggled uh, much like in Sri Lanka. We've had a, a few arenas closing uh, in the UK recently. Uh, unfortunately, now, I mean, I'm based in London. We don't have an arena based in London anymore. So for any of the boys based down that side of town, uh, it's a good two, two and a half hours. We have, we have great facilities. We have, we have Bristol Arena. Uh, we also have Birmingham that hosted the Masters World Cup, uh, Derby, which is great, Nottingham, uh, Leicester, but again, you know, just not enough. Uh, but with the backing of the ECB, who've been on board, and they're starting to get more and more behind it with the support of Mike Gatting, it, it's really helped the game develop, and uh, it certainly put a little bit of uh, impetus on it, and obviously the ICC now getting involved for the 2020 World Cup, that's great to hear, I mean, really exciting. That's fantastic news, uh, Blake. And here is the next one, played uh, back uh, to the bowler by uh, Mendis. The previous delivery going to the back net for, for uh, 4 plus 1, 5. That was Andy Solomon in action. He is uh, uh, a very senior first-class player in this uh, in Sri Lanka. Taken up the indo Korea game. And uh, this pair have uh, more or less uh, taken their personal skin to 35. And uh, the total onto 100, 126 with the final over to come. So it's been a tremendous performance uh, from the Sri Lankan uh, batting pairs. And uh, with the first skin uh, scoring 26, the second skin 34, the third one 31, and now the final one with one over to go 35, and Sri Lanka 126. Uh, I think uh, England will have a great challenge when they come out to bat, uh, depending on the score that they're going to chase. It's definitely going to be more than 130. Big, big challenge and big opportunity here for Atar, you know, playing in his first game. Okay, not the best not there, but that's all right. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, coming out bowling the 16th over. Young man, he's only been playing the game for six months. He's already in the England men's uh, squad. Um, he's, he's improved dramatically, you know. It just shows 
for the National Trust in him here. Fantastic, fantastic work there from Luke Gunn. I think it was a, a caught off the foot and a, a finished play with a run out. So that's great. You know, I think what England needs to focus on here is make sure we finish the 16th over strong. Don't allow Sri Lanka to, to keep dictating where this game's going. You know, we've only got four balls left here. If we hold it at 120, sub 120, it means there's a little bit of confidence coming out. You know, we, we lost that in uh, the last game uh, with the rash shot, which never happened. Uh, we could have taken the, the final skin. And it's all the, it's the little victories that you need to take and the confidence you take from that going into bat. Um, I, I think those are the key things, the little victories that we need to focus on right now uh, and build on it. You know, yeah, you say 125, it's a big score. It's going to be a big ask of the England side, but, you know, if Sri Lanka can score it, there's no reason why we can't. Uh, fantastic shot there. Ah, oh, a little bit of luck for the England boys there, but a dead ball to run out through the back net there. Uh, we'll take it, I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, a, a super challenge here, and, you know, credit to Sri Lanka. They've batted phenomenally here. Um, England, yeah, we've, we haven't bowled as disciplined as we had hoped, but for sure, uh, Sri Lanka have shown great, great discipline in the way that they've batted and value on the wicket. I mean, back in the day, it was eight, eight ball overs minus five. Yeah. Now, it's, now it's six ball minus five. It definitely changed the dynamic uh, of the game. Oh, boys. So, that so 126, two balls left. The previous one, uh, a big uh, here, we are... A big hitting uh, Andy Solomon sitting it uh, back to net, but the ball going out of the court, called dead balls. Again, a tremendous shot by Mendis. It's been an improved batting performance by uh, Tarindu Mendis. Was not happy with his uh, performance in the first game, so he has come out with purpose, and it shows uh, in the way that he has uh, uh, played uh, and perfected his innings uh, in this uh, skin with Andy Solomon's. So 128. Sri Lanka will look to close up uh, with uh, maybe another two. And this one, yes, played to the... Oh, this is a there tremendous uh, performance by, Sri Lanka, by uh, England, effecting a dispersal in the last ball uh, with a run out. So the five more runs uh, reduced uh, on that occasion. Uh, and Ataf finishing off with two for 11. Bit of a comeback on his part. But Sri Lanka will be slightly disappointed with the two dismissal in the last over, Blake. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as we said, it was the little victories. You know, we managed uh, to hold off there and keep the score at one, two, three. You know, as we said, it's a big challenge, but there's no reason why the boys can't go out and steady a pair, plus a, plus a couple here and there. Um, I think we need to just bat a little bit more confidently. I think we let the game get away from ourselves. We didn't impose ourselves with the bat enough. Um, I think, yeah, we did try and value our wicket, but we, we didn't hit the side netting enough, and, and we played into the Sri Lankan hands, and uh, I think that'll change. I think you saw on the fourth pair, we decided from now on, we're going to play the English way. We're going to play solid cricket and aggressive cricket, much like the England outdoor team. Uh, and we're going to take it to the Sri Lankans and let's see how it goes, you know. Uh, I back the boys. Anesh, Anesh is a great leader and he's a great batsman. He'll be out there. I think that's the first time he's got out in about six months. So uh, I think he's got something to prove and we're going to come out and we're going to fire him. Let's see where we're at. I'm sure Sri Lanka are going to come out, as we know. They're a great bowling and fielding team. Um, but let's see how we go. So that's the situation here from the Australia and Dukrigar Stadium uh, in this second test match between the, the Sri Lanka and the England uh, men's uh, teams uh, with Sri Lanka putting up a very healthy 123 in their innings. Uh, we will see uh, the England reply shortly and uh, when you return there will be a change of voices. It was great to have uh, uh, Blake uh, with us in the commentary box. Uh, we will look to have him uh, much more, uh, Blake, uh, uh, in the future as well as we uh, uh, start to uh, explain and uh, give a description of for how the games are going on in the next few test matches as well. But uh, any last uh, words uh, from you uh, before you leave uh, the, the box for in this skin? I just want to thank you for the opportunity to jump on here. I think me and Ben both enjoyed it massively. Uh, thanks to you guys for streaming everything and setting this up for us. It's been uh, fantastic. And I just have to give a little shout out to my amazing wife who let me come out here. Yeah, now that I have my little son, Noah, who was born uh, two months ago. So, so pretty stoked. Uh, and lots of love to both of them. Thank you very much. So, Blake, thank you so much. Look forward to having you again. I'm sure you enjoyed uh, your stint. Uh, and uh, once when we return back again for the Sri Lanka innings on the field and uh, for England's uh, reply, a change of voices uh, to bring you to take you through the next innings will be uh, Ricky Sims. And with him, uh, we have Ben Lapworth. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoyed that. Okay, yeah, I'm stepping.
Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Lyndon and uh, Blake. A warm welcome back uh, to uh, Ben. So 124, the target uh, for England here. They'll have to uh, bat much better than they did in the first test. Uh, the target was 91 uh, then. Ben, a bigger target, 124 to get. Not going to be easy, but uh, in this uh, game, it's uh, also always uh, gettable, isn't it? Yes, uh, MT has batted very well uh, in the uh, first game as well. Andy Solomons uh, will be uh, all in the first over. He's uh, playing his... Oh, short delivery. Yeah. Well, twice over the head, uh, we could call it over the batsman's head. Uh, a loosener by Andy Solomons. Probably slipped out of his hand. You could see him uh, cleaning uh, his hand as well. Oh, that's very well bowled. Very well bowled. A good comeback, isn't it? He's uh, played a lot of outdoor cricket, a lot of uh, domestic first-class cricket here in Sri Lanka. And now uh, getting uh, into the indoor game as well. So he'll use uh, all his skills. Oh, fantastic. Yes, uh, remember in indoor cricket you cannot uh, touch uh, the uh, front line. It has to be behind the line, unlike uh, outdoor cricket uh, where you could uh, have your heel over as long as it's not uh, fully over the line. So it's a big difference. Okay, important. That's good batting. Good skill there. Picks up uh, two runs, but it's a good over so far. Ah, oh. no chance that time right in that uh, block call, a full delivery, very full delivery. This pair is uh, crucial, isn't it? Uh, they got 16 uh, in the uh, uh, first skin in the first test match. They'll be looking uh, uh, to improve on that uh, 16 runs. Yes, uh, seven runs, uh, chasing 124. So good start uh, here, England. Uh, definitely, we'll be looking uh, to uh, keep going. They cannot lose wickets. Uh, remember, they lost. Uh, they had a dismissal in the very first over, second delivery in the first test. Uh, that that uh, really set them back. But uh, this is a much better performance. Uh, Pereira will bowl the second over. He bowled really well in the first test. Uh, the uh, left arm was outstanding. Bowled with a lot of pace. Yes, he, he looks a really good prospect, isn't it, uh, young Imtiaz, uh, uh, up-and-coming player here for England. It's a strain down the leg side. Very lucky. Yes, uh, probably very close, very marginal, but uh, he got away that time. Now oh, he's betting the more square arm. Uh, oh, that could be wide, yes. Uh, uh, that will be called a wide. So this time, uh, uh, a run uh, added uh, to the total. He's uh, trying uh, his, uh, his stance. He's uh, squared up his stance, a more open stance at the moment. So the bowler trying to angle it into his legs. But unfortunately, he's uh, straight a couple of times. Oh, that's what he was looking for. That's what he was looking for. He had an open stance. His all three stumps were visible. He was trying to uh, land it right into that uh, block hole and get it to come back. Perfectly bold. Yes, 
definitely swung in bank late and uh, now he's uh, come closer to the stumps oh. they'll pick up uh, a couple of runs uh, but it has been a very good over he's uh, bowled wide but he's picked up a wicket so he's uh, or got a dismissal so fine stuff uh, by Pereira so far Yes, uh, an excellent over, certainly by uh, Pereira. Well, something uh, a discussion. The umpire having a discussion with the bowler, with the captain. Wonder what it is. Yes. Uh, Yes, we wondered what it was about, but uh, that was an excellent over. Just the two runs uh, coming off it. Uh, two overs have been completed. Nine uh, at the moment, uh, chasing 124. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a good hit. That's very well played. Uh, very, very important runs, isn't it, uh, uh, Ben? Uh, four runs there. Yeah, very positive stroke, that. Slightly, slightly less pace on the ball. It could be a very positive approach to that first ball. Yes, because of the lesser pace, uh, he has a uh, lot more time to play with. Uh, you could see then the previous over, uh, which was a ball. So a lot more uh, time to play with and uh, to hit it into the net. How long have you been involved uh, with the game uh, indoor cricket, uh, Ben, over there in England? Uh, so I've been playing for eight, eight years now. Um, so since the age of 15, I've been playing for Leicester in the National League. Since Sharpton Yes, sir. The underarm flick uh, going a bit of straight. They'll pick up another couple of runs there. So uh, in England, uh, do you see a lot of uh, the youngsters uh, uh, playing indoor cricket? Uh, are they involved with the game? Is there a lot of talent coming up? A good over though. Third over has been completed. 21. Oh, one more, one more delivery left. A bigger pardon. Thank you, Lyndon. Yes. Yeah, so three overs uh, have uh, been uh, completed so far. Twenty-three on the board. Yes. Yes. Sri Lanka got uh, twenty-six uh, in their uh, first four overs, uh, so England will be looking to overhaul that. It got better for Sri Lanka after the first four. Oh, opportunity there. They had an opportunity. Uh, slight misfield. Definitely. Oh, once again, uh, once again, a slight fumble. Not collected uh, cleanly. These are important mistakes. Definitely two misfields. Uh, given away four runs in the last couple of uh, deliveries.
Zafar receives the ball at the left timer. Oh, that would have been close if he hit. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Missed it uh, very close, but still too far. And uh, it's all important. Six runs uh, already of the uh, first uh, three deliveries of this over. Yes, so Sri Lanka have uh, quite a number of uh, left timers in their lineup. Hasn't uh, been easy uh, uh, for the English uh, batsmen on the left timers. Oh, good change of pace. Mix it up. A much slower delivery. Floated it up there. And uh, MTR's the plane way too early. Missed it completely. Pick up uh, one more. Yes, uh, definitely they've been uh, outstanding uh, so far in the slim. Their bowling has uh, done uh, brilliantly as well. So the first skin uh, has uh, been completed. 30 uh, runs uh, on the board. Uh, Linden will come in for the uh, second skin. Yes, Linden uh, lets us uh, carry on, uh, Ben. Taking a break, I think, Linden. Taking a well-deserved uh, break, he, he, he did the first game, the first test, completely. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Yes, uh, in the first test, uh, the uh, second skin was uh, quite uh, the weak one uh, for England. They got only uh, 10 runs off that second skin in the first test. Uh, they'll be looking to really improve uh, on this one. Yes, uh, Tarun de Mendes. Ball in the first over of this uh, second uh, skin here for Sri Lanka. Oh, once again, uh, hit it into the ground. Just a single though. So far it has been a good battle here. I England on course. Getting 30 off the uh, first skin. Oh. Definitely kept a bit low, isn't it? Uh, certainly kept a bit low. Oh, that's very well bowled. Excellent change up and excellent uh, behind the stumps as well. Quick to uh, whip off the bells. The earlier one, uh, like uh, Ben mentioned, was quicker, kept a bit low. This time uh, slowed it up. And the batsman, uh, definitely, he was uh, deceived. And that's an important uh, dismissal uh, for Sri Lanka. England could not afford that. Yeah, bad timing. He started the skin quite positively. A much better shot. Played that oh. very confidently. Yes. Yes, as soon as he drops it slightly short, they have lots of time because he, he really doesn't have the pace uh, to uh, trouble them, so it's easier. That's a good-looking shot. That's a good-looking shot. Fantastic. Powerfully struck. So yeah. Yes. Exactly. But uh, they managed to cover up quite quickly. That uh, dismissal, the loss of five runs uh, with five of that last uh, delivery. It's a good comeback. 35, though, still. Who's going to bowl the uh, second over of this uh, second skin? It's going to be uh, Lakshan, uh, Malshan Rodrigo. Uh, yes, uh, Lyndon mentioned he's, uh, he's a young lad. Oh, he's run out, isn't it? Yes, he is. Quick uh, reaction. Malshan Rodrigo just flicking it back. And uh, the bell's coming off. So that's uh, an error 
that's something England could not afford to. The very first delivery of this over, the sixth over of the innings. Oh, that too was close. I think he's gone. Yes, he's gone. Another run out. Sri Lanka brilliant in the field at the moment. They're doing really well. They've been outstanding. Oh, oh. Sharp In chance and there. Out. Hit very hard by Nathan Howell. Bowler's dropped it. Hurt a little bit more when it comes off your own bowling. And it's cost him three runs as well. Yes, it was a catchable height. I thought he grabbed it on the second attempt, but uh, just could not hang on. But Shut England didn't want that. They're lucky they escaped another dismissal. Oh, that's close. That's close. Probably just in. Very Probably sharp work just again. In. Now, has he injured himself? I think the top stump fielder may have been hit by the ball ricocheting off the stumps there. We'll just need a moment. That'll, uh, that'll sting a little bit in and around Definitely. the throat. It's been excellent over, though. Two runouts, a caught and bowled uh, missed opportunity. And another opportunity for a runout. It has been excellent stuff. He's bowled uh, well so far, Rodrigo. Played very impressively. That's good cricket. Lovely Picks shot up. from Nathan Howell there. He's improved a lot over the past season. Uh, played in the World Cup. Uh, Form pretty well, pretty well out there. It looks like he's coming into his own today. Would be hoping for a few more runs on the board, though. Ricochet off the non-striker there, and another two runs onto the scoreboard for England. Well, just a four runs uh, off that over. Excellent over from uh, Malshan uh, Rodrigo. So just a 34 on the board. Six overs have been uh, completed. These next two overs are going to be very, very important uh, for England in this uh, skin. Yeah, keeping the wickets is probably the key thing now. To get through these two overs unscathed. Might come out of this skin with 20, 25. And keeps them still in, in the hunt. Still got some striking to come. Batsman that can, uh, can hit out if needed. Yes, that's good batting. That's what they need. They need to keep doing that. Every ball. Picking up those uh, twos. Yeah, very good shot from Sam Stooks there. Three, Come so down three. the track. Four. Four in that. Four important runs. Already the yes. score, this skin score looking a little healthier already. Yes, so they're looking to use their feet uh, against uh, Hapu Arachi much slower. Doesn't look like he's turning it too much. Looks like he's trying to push the ball through a little bit. Yes, he's just uh, concentrating, bowling straight, keeping it straight. He's making the batsman just uh, come down the track, try something different. That's nicely played. May have been close with a direct hit. One scored. Two balls to come in the over. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Oh, he's gone. Damn. He's just made it. He's just made it. That was brilliant. Feeling the brilliant... Uh, Sri Lanka looked very confident with that appeal. Yes, it looked a very close call. Brilliant reflexes, underarm flick, direct hit. It's all happening. Excellent the cricket out there. And that was powerfully struck as well. Yeah, another it positive show, shot from Nathan Howell there. That one definitely kept low. Another two onto the scoreboard. Well watched by Sam Stooks there. And skin yes. looking a little bit more healthy now. 15 yes. with, a, with an over to go. Yes, that was a good over, uh, definitely for England. Uh, came back strongly. They got 11 runs off that. 
that was uh, much better over they'll be looking uh, uh, like you said uh, to get another uh, 10 to 12 runs at least uh, in this as well and uh, and uh, from Trump we are like 25 to 30 in this game isn't it uh, Ben yeah that'd be uh, very handy looks like they're bringing Solomons back on I believe he bowled the first over did he not yes Andy Solomons he bowled the first over bit of pace looks like Sri Lanka trying to try and finish this early yes uh, they're trying to probably be, uh, pick up a, a dismissal or two here to drag it back if they could do that then they can uh, certainly put a bit of uh, pressure on uh, the England but if England get a good over here they'll think uh, they're on top oh, fine delivery really good start from Solomons there well dug out by Sam Stooks yes, he's trying to bowl straight trying to bowl full just keep it up to the batsman there again. Oh. Really positively played. Dives come out, not needed without the direct hit. But he wasn't to know that. Another one onto the scoreboard. Can just be looking to hit the side nets a little bit more frequently. It's been quite a few ones scored with the dunks not going the full distance. Oh, shot, quick. Yeah, over shoulder height there. He's accepted the extra ball. Bowler doesn't look too pleased with it. Call the no ball, so extra runs uh, onto the total. And an extra ball accepted as well. Certainly he's bowling with a bit of uh, pace here, Andy uh, Solomon's giving it his everything. So he looks the quickest of the bowlers on display uh, for the Sri Lankan team. Good change up. That looked like it hit the tape. I'd have given that three, but his umpire's given it two. Really nicely played. Well watched. Another good change up. A lot of variations from the Sri Lanka bowlers. Yes, he's bowling it full. He's uh, slipping the short delivery in. He's bowling the slow one as well. This time again full right in the block hole. Unable to get under it. He's looking to play it straight. I think the batsman might have felt that one. He's hit it pretty cleanly into his own, into his own body. Two balls here. Hopefully some more runs for England. Oh, real ball is beaten, beaten outside the off dump, beaten for pace, the third ball coming up. Yeah, big point in the game this, third ball here, England will be looking to uh, survive, change the scoreboard over, as Kabir and Imtiaz gives a thumbs up to the commentary box. Yes, he's had a, had a good day out there in the two matches. Uh, really nicely played from Sam Stooks that. Fought yes, back really hard, that skin. Uh, from not particularly the best position after two overs of only four runs for the skin. Finished with a nice positive skin of 22. Yeah. Lyndon's coming back in to join me on commentary for the next skin. Welcome back, Lyndon. Thanks, Ben. England fighting hard here. It's been uh, exciting uh, Indo cricket, and uh, England uh, have improved on their performance from the first game. But uh, still, the challenge is ahead of them, as we see the debutant Arthur, and uh, he'll be with the Vans for the next uh, skin, the third skin. And uh, leaving the commentary is Ben, and uh, coming back again for his second stint is Blake uh, Vanderlinde. So welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ben. We look forward to having you again. And uh, it's uh, 52 after eight overs. This is the start of the the third skin. So two skins of uh, 30 and 22 from England. As the next one is played uh, on the offside. An appeal for a run out at the bowler's end, uh, but uh, Arthur. So it's skipper Kamal Kurupu, ball in hand, bowling his left armers. Much better start from England with the bat in this game. Uh, still a lot of runs to chase down, but uh, I think also maybe Sri Lanka have missed a few opportunities. Uh, unlike the first test match, uh, maybe a little bit of tiredness, a little bit of heat getting to them. Uh, long day out there for everybody. Uh, but definitely a lot more positive from the England boys. Uh, here we have Atar on debut. Um, good player. Super balls, and that's one in the air. Maybe out caught. He's out caught. 
So an unfortunate for first ball uh, dismissal uh, for him. And uh, England uh, reduced it by five runs. Uh, they dropped to 49. So not the best start uh, on a father. They have a ball bouncing a little bit too much on him. He was already committed on the front foot, getting a top edge. And the ball just coming off the net for an easy catch. Put the commentator's curse on him there. <laughs> Shot. Great response. Three plus one. So that's a better comeback uh, from the young boy. Showing the fight uh, in him. And that's uh, what we like to see uh, from players. Got Lee on strike there. Lee, solid batsman. Um, won batter of the year last year. And I think he was top three this year for National League. Um, really, really solid. Has, you know, two different levels where he plays. He, he's very confident to play the, the down-ups. But as you saw in the last uh, test match, <clears throat> equally dangerous when he, when he gets attacking. Um, definitely brought us back into that game. Gave us a, a small opportunity, but really, really good. So... England on 55 after nine overs. And uh, the third skin now reading uh, three after one. So it will be Tarindu uh, Mendis uh, to bowl the 10th over. And he'll be bowling right arm round uh, to the left handed uh, events. He's getting a good bit of movement when he's been bowling. In, uh, played. To the top net, the ball uh, ricocheting off it and a very quick return by uh, Kolita, but uh, away from the stumps and uh, gave Arthur the chance to make his ground. So one more added to the total, 56. And it'll be Arthur now to face with Tarindu. Slower delivery, driven beautifully past the fielder and the third line and it hits the back net. So that's his three plus one, four. So Arthur, after being dismissed uh, in the first ball, coming back very strongly. And that showed the character of the player, Blake. Yeah, he, although he's a young man, you know, uh, we, had, we had a chat with him uh, earlier today and we just said, you know what, come out and play your game. Don't let the situation uh, dictate how you play. Come out, back yourself and, let, and let's see how it goes. And, and definitely very, very strong on the offside. Loves to get it through the three line, done it all the way through National League. Um, and great to see him doing that. Oh. Again, this is what we were talking about during the Sri Lankan innings. I think uh, England possibly looking to go too hard too early in this game. Uh, definitely need to build a better platform before we can start playing shot like, shots like that. You know, I'd be hoping Lee would be chatting to Tara about something like that. Um, looking to maybe get a, get a foundation of 20 runs in the pair before you start looking. Yes, we have a game to win here, but yeah, you've got to set your foundations before you can go. Uh, great shot from Atar there showing... Quite a bit of maturity for a young man who's come out and been dismissed first ball of his career. Um, definitely responded nice and strong. And now I'm sure Lee will get, gather himself and get back on it. So even being dismissed when uh, England was finding some momentum. So unfortunately for them, again, looking uh, at the back net, but not getting the elevation that he would have loved to. And also the angle uh, to get it away from the bowler. But uh, unfortunately for him, but finishes strongly in the last delivery and uh, takes the skin up to six after two overs uh, in this third skin and uh, to England total now 58 still a long way from uh, that 123 uh, but they need to keep fighting uh, with every delivery and every over as the Roshan De Silva comes into bowl the 11th over of and the third over of the skin Tusha master of his trade been playing the game for a long time um, I had the pleasure of playing with him once before. Um, really, really solid player. Asked a lot of questions with the ball and really, really solid with the bat when he uh, opened up. Again a top edge and again another dismissal. Disappointing from uh, in England point of view. Events are out uh, in a similar way, but this time it's the back stumper who picks up the catch. It's Andy Solomons and uh, a wicket for erosion and another five runs uh, Loss uh, for the England course and Blake. I'm sure you're sure events will be disappointed with those two dismissals. Yeah, it's just soft dismissals again coming back to it. You know, the discipline, putting the value on your wicket. You know, um, as I said previously, you know, I just think uh, we're possibly trying to force the game a little bit too hard here. Use the side nets to get that platform going and then, and then look to attack after that. But, uh, you know, easy said when you're chasing another 
70 runs from here. Uh, obviously, there's game pressure as well as, you know, just, just the individual pressure of wanting to perform. As I said to you, you know, everyone's fighting for a place. I know I'm definitely planning on playing the next test match. Uh, as much as I'm loving being up here and giving a bit of commentary, <laughs> uh, I, I would kill to be out there on the field. But as we said, you know, we need to pace it and we need to make sure that we're there. I, I know we're learning as we go. Um, but, uh, you know, Sri Lanka are, are playing very, very well. Uh, I just hope that we, we stop to allow them to dominate the games. They really are dictating the pace of the game right now. They are very, very clinical when it comes to the fielding. I know we spoke about that earlier, but um, that, they, they are very, very cunning. Uh, there are a lot of left-handers out there that we're not used to and a lot of left-handed fielders that are all over it. And they, uh, they definitely, definitely make you feel like you're boxed in and put a lot of pressure on you, um, which we're seeing again there. England trying to force the game, Atar calling it. Uh, Lee not responding and uh, really well done Sri Lanka, you know, nice and clean and clinical, no panic. Get it to the top stumps, no need to it, throw them down. Get it in his hands and uh, away we go. So we're sitting at minus two for the pair after three overs, uh, definitely a long way out. I think right now the thing that England need to focus on that we spoke about in my last session is the little wins. Let's get ourselves back into positives, let's try and get ourselves, you know, plus five, plus six for this pair. And look to attack in the last pair, try and, try and win the skin again. Um, I definitely think that, you know, that, that's what we need to be doing and, and take the little win out of that. So Haparachi coming to bowl the last over in this uh, third skin. He bowls to Atta who plays it uh, to the side scheme again. It's uh, called the skipper Kurupu on the third line, uh, reacting very quickly but unable to uh, make a direct hit uh, on the back stump. Again, uh, Blake, what I've kind of uh, observed from the English uh, batters is that, again, you can see uh, there's a lot of anxiety and anxiousness in the, because uh, given the fact that they're chasing a big total as well, but they're not building on their innings. They're not looking to, uh, uh, you know, get a partnership going and, you know, uh, and I think that is uh, uh, one of the, uh, for, you know, main areas of the downfall for, for, for the batting. I think uh, if if they could just stay a little bit calm and uh, and look to uh, you know play the side nets and build a score and then look at the la maybe the last two overs or the last over to maybe you know push a little bit if possible, right? But it's not been happening and there's been no momentum. It's been an up and down kind of uh, batting display from the England the batting, especially in this third skin. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you can say that it's gone through uh, through both test matches, really. I think, uh, as we said, the experience is still quite young in the, in the squad. Um, not quite sure what happened there. I thought that came off the keeper's leg, but uh, that's all right. It's out in the scorebook. Um, as they say, in Australia, that's out. But um, I think with, with regards to England, yeah, definitely, I think at the moment, um, the, there are a lot of nerves. Uh, we've only had two warm-up games and we've come out to play a really, really experienced and uh, very well-drilled Sri Lankan team. And uh, uh, they've definitely put us under the pump and we've, re we've reacted poorly. Uh, uh, we're going to have to look at ourselves tonight when we get back to the hotel uh, and, and make better decisions. I mean, look at that. That's just clinical from Sri Lanka. There's no panic. Um, that, that's, a, that's solid, solid cricket, that, you know. I think it's again, it's all about the mindset. The Sri Lankans are more relaxed. They know that they are winning the game. They are far ahead. England anxious, you know, far behind. And so making a lot of mental mistakes out there in the middle. And, uh, as, uh, and that has not helped the cause for England at all. And especially this uh, third skin has been a, a really uh, discouraging uh, bit of uh, batting from them. Yeah, I mean, again, I just think there, there was no value put on the wicket there. Regardless of the game situation, you've got to value your wicket and you've got, you've got to understand that, you know, how you bat now is going to dictate how you bat in your next innings. And uh, any confidence you can get, even if you've had a poor start to the innings, any confidence you can get on the latter part of your, your skin, you can carry that momentum into your next skin, uh, into the following test match, whether you be bowling or batting. And, uh, you know, I just think... Situation's probably got a little bit big for a few of the boys. We felt a little bit of pressure here. Sri Lanka have come, you know, ready to play, and, and we're a little bit behind the eight ball. But uh, tomorrow is another day. Um, I know we're, we're we're certainly not coming to, coming to lose the series here. We're, we're planning to come back really, really strong tomorrow. Um, and uh, I think you know, we, indoor cricket's a funny game. What the scoreboard says up there, and what the reality of the situation. There are fine lines that can define it. And you know, we saw in the first game. It was a lot closer here. I think maybe the bowling in particular has let us down. We let, we let Sri Lanka dictate 
how they batted. They got on top of the ball, hit the side nets a lot, which kept the scoreboard ticking. Uh, not a lot of third balls. I think we had three in the entire innings. And again, two of those that were followed up by full tosses that got put away, rightly so, by the Sri Lankan batsmen. But uh, England, are gonna have, we're going to have to have a hard look at ourselves here. Oh, great opportunity. Great nut there. Nice turn away. So it's a third ball situation very early on in this fourth skin. Rumesh Pereira, the bowler. And uh, watching uh, the two batsmen walking off the courts uh, in the last skin, uh, Blake Evans was off the court very, very quickly. He was quite disgusted with himself. Didn't even wait for his partner. And so we have uh, a bit of confusion here. But the Third ball situation. <laughs> the boys again not focused on the game there. Um, it's not great from the England lads. Um, yeah, I, I've just got a question what we're doing there. No, I think that the right, the, the right thing uh, from uh, the non-striker and also the um, brotherhood keeping holding his ground, having missed yeah. the ball uh, and then running late, uh, but not running hard enough. A uh, bit of a confusion. He was not too sure what he needed to be doing after that. So, well, everything happening here at the Australia Indo uh, Cricket Stadium as uh, Pereira bowls the next one uh, to... Uh, Yeah, I think TB got him, so he made the right decision to stay in the crease there just in case there was a fumble from the keeper. Um, but unfortunately, you know, as much as he is the ginger rocket, he's not going to get down the other end. Uh, I'll bat your keeper's on to get there well before him any time. So, uh, England struggling in these last two skins. Now already 37. They were 52 after the two, first two skins. So they have lost about 15 runs. Uh, and it's another third ball situation and it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to cope with this third ball situation this time. Luke himself is a very, very aggressive batter, uh, always has been and we, we've never asked him to bat any other way. Um, I think he's just finding it quite tricky at the moment with the way that the ball's skidding across him. Uh, normally it would possibly just hold back a little bit more when we would be back in the UK but uh, you know, no excuse there. I think he's going to have to adapt a little bit quicker as we all are. Um, uh, and learn to, to pick the Sri Lankans. They've been fantastic again this innings with their variations. A lot of cutters, a lot of slow. It's not only the cutters, it's, it's the change of pace. A um, little bit slow has been gripping and coming through, and then obviously you've got, uh, is it Solomon, who's come through at about Mach 500, uh, almost taking out the umpire with the first ball, but definitely bowled a really aggressive line. Um, as you see with Luke looking for back net, again, we talk about the right to to be, be aggressive uh, in indoor cricket and, and at minus eight. I, I don't think we're in that position where we should be doing that. I think right now it's, you know, build your innings, take whatever you can from this innings and take it into the next test match um, because there's still a long way to go here. So, Malshan Rodrigo, my man of the match in this game, right, has been a tremendous uh, revelation, scored 26 runs, bowled at a very good first over, picked up a uh, we could be the first ball, even though he has gone for a seven. Uh, Luke uh, taking uh, the, the, the initiative uh, to play some shots. He's going to succeed sometimes, and there's another dismissal here. So, England uh, just uh, running out of ideas uh, in this game. So, Blake, uh, it's, it's going to be two down going into the next uh, set of games that are going to come up from tomorrow. But there are still four games to go, Absolutely. right? And uh, all is not lost. Absolutely so, not. So you're going back to the drawing board. You're going to look at these two games. You're going to see what are the good things and the positives that you have done. But what are the areas that you're going to be very keen to improve on uh, in uh, looking at all the three disciplines of the bowling, batting and the fielding? I think, um, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of improvement currently to be had from this English setup. Um, lo looking at the bowling, I think... Uh, the extras that we've given away, the, the, the number of wides we bowled and full tosses. Um, you know, the facilities are there, we should use them. We need to get into the deck. We need to look to vary our base. Learn from the Sri Lankans uh, in the way that they've done that. You can see uh, Rodrigo pushing the quicker ball through there, not expected from TB. Um, so definitely from the England side, I think from the bowling aspect, we need to take away these extras. If you're bowling 15 wides in innings, that's 30 runs plus a 15, 15 extra balls, depending if they're in the fourth over. Um, which, you know, the Sri Lankan team are going to punish us. They're a quality, quality out outfit and they're going to uh, 
they're going to do that. Uh, with regards to the feeling aspect, I think we just need to have a bit more presence up in the front of the court. Watching the Sri Lankan guys work up front is just a, it's awesome. Um, they, they are all over the place. They're encouraging. They, you feel like you're caught in a bubble. You feel like you can't get that ball through, whether they, they're jumping or whether they're picking it off the net. Even if you are home, that ball is dead over the top of the stumps, in the window, as we like to say. Um, and it's just not been good enough from our end. And when it gets to the batting, I mean, we've shown glimpses of how we can play, but I think right now we need to go back and, and just relax a little bit and, and get back to what our, our, our success has been as a team. We performed, um, well, they performed, the England men's, uh, really, really well at the Men's World Cup, winning the plate. But uh, here it just seems maybe we need to adapt a little quicker to the conditions, the heat, and the way the pitch comes on. Um, and now that we know how, you know, pretty much how the Sri Lankans are going to bowl, we, we need to start thinking how we're going to retaliate and how we're going to play that way and definitely put a lot more pressure on them when we're bowling. So, Luke Gunn surviving a third ball situation and uh, Brotherhood uh, making good connection for more runs, two more runs in fact. The skin in this 15th over is three runs for the fourth skin and 45 runs the total. So, and the sex one is another dismissal. This time it's Marshan on the field. He's putting an excellent all round performance. This young boy making his international debut. It's been a fantastic performance uh, from him. Uh, and uh, he did it with the bat score in 26 runs, ball two, excellent overs. And now he's affected a dismissal on the field with some fantastic fielding. Uh, Blake, t talk me through the batting. It seems that you know you, you, have, you have the quality to compete, right? You have a person like Luke Gunn who can play the big shots like he has just done, uh, right? He played a couple of uh, sevens. This may be his second one. A couple of uh, fives as well. But it seems that there seems to be no plan in how you're building your partnerships and as you come together on your skins, right? And w w what you're looking to achieve, right? Given a target score, right? And I think that is where the failure has been. You've been going too hard at some times. There's been... Uh, uh, no uh, kind of a plan on how you're calling and running. Uh, there's been some aimless uh, cricket. So I think if uh, you are much better than what you are, right, that's, there is no doubt about that. It's just that uh, if you look back at these two games, you're going to say that it's been below par, right? Your players are much better. You, can, you have much more to offer. So coming back uh, tomorrow, uh, I'm sure you're going to talk about these things and going to see how, how much the notches you can raise your game if you're going to compete uh, with the Sri Lankans who are playing at the top of their game? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, to, we're just going to have to look at today and take whatever positives we can find out of it and also uh, take it as an experience. You know, let's learn from it. We've, we've made a lot of mistakes today. Uh, as you've seen, uh, the calling has been really, really poor between the English batsmen, all the pairs, all the way through. Uh, there's been a lot of runouts, which are free wickets, you know. Um, and I think we put we haven't really imposed ourselves yet. Luke has definitely hit a couple of sevens, but you know, earning the right and being able to hit the side nets, take the twos, get yourself or take the strike. You know, it's an easy game. You got to score one a ball and you're home free. And we're making it seem a lot more difficult. Yes, Sri Lanka have bowled well, but as you said, we're a much better outfit than this. And I think the best thing to do is uh, take what positives we can out of today. Um, I thought the first pair batted well. I thought the second pair had a great comeback. They were under a lot of pressure after the second over. They were only on two. Um, and then we had uh, the fourth pair of the first test and uh, the third pair who also performed really, really well. So let's look at where the successes came there. We can look back at a bit of the footage. Um, but in essence, I think we just need to, we need to learn from what mistakes we've made today. Uh, we need to make a few adjustments, but also back ourselves a little bit more, you know, get maybe a little bit more aggressive in the field, get a little bit more taller um, and get the ball out a little bit quicker. It seems like the Sri Lankans are getting the ball out half a step quicker than we are. And uh, we need to learn from that. We need to be on, on our toes. But um, yeah, so we've been outplayed in the first two test matches. But as we said, it's a six match series and there's a lot of cricket still to come. And I'm backing us to, to come back and win this. Maybe not like that, but in general, yes. So another missed chance, a sharp catch it would have been. Uh, it would have been a, been a great way to, uh, to finish, the game. finish the game, in fact. Uh, but, uh, well, anyway, not to be. England uh, again uh, falling short. 
uh, and in fact well shot sri lanka performing uh, top notch uh, in both test matches and uh, shows uh, that england have a little bit of work to do if they are going to be competitive in the next uh, four games in this series i'm sure we won't uh, see too much of uh, blake in the commentary box he'll be out there in the field um, trying to bring uh, england back into this series and we want to wish you well it was great having you uh, a part of the commentary but whenever you are free you are most welcome uh, Blake uh, uh, to come back and we wish uh, you and your team uh, uh, all the very best uh, for your, for a, a good fight back in this series because we are looking, uh, looking forward to much more from you as a team because uh, from what we have heard that what you have to offer is much more and I'm sure that uh, given the quality and given the fight that you will have that uh, y'all are going to put a lot of things right coming back into the and to come back into the series yeah absolutely thank you for having me again uh really really enjoyed it but uh hopefully the only time i'll be seeing you is through this window while i'm playing on the field moving forward um and you know we're gonna have to go and reflect on everything now unfortunately i've got a dash because i've got my team looking for me and we need to have a quick chat but uh again big shout out to the tree frogs and my boys back home and uh we we're going to turn this around we're going we're to win this series um, so thank you very much and uh, I look forward to following the commentary. Thank you Blake. Go and join your, your teammates and uh, the news from uh, the Australia Indo Cricket Stadium is that Sri Lanka have gone two, one up, two nil up in the six match series. It's been a very professional performance from the Sri Lankans as uh, Ricky Sims joins me in the commentary for our final thoughts before we uh, say good night. Uh, it's been uh, uh, ex an excellent uh, uh, performance. All the players have contributed uh, well, and uh, especially to see a, a young player like Malshan Rodrigo making his debut. Right, uh, I think he showed a lot of maturity in the way he played the game today, and uh, it argues well for Sri Lanka uh, going forward uh, uh, in uh, Indo cricket. And uh, Ricky, your impressions on the two games played so far, and. Uh, on what England needs to do if they need to be competitive in the series uh, going forward. Yes, it was outstanding day at Australia uh, Indo cricket, and uh, I think yes, uh, we we.